G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I'm afraid it's another mini quad focused video. This time I want to talk about these things, the green thing, well in this case green things, you put on your mini quads. The propellers because they can make a huge difference to the performance of your craft and there are now quite a range of props. When I first got my first mini quad, all there were were Gemfan 5.3s, the little flexi Gemfan props and you know that's what you used because that's all there was. But now obviously the hobby, this part of the hobby has taken off quite literally and as a result there are some other prop options on the market. So what I'm going to do today is look at a range of 5 inch props and I'm going to stick them on the test stand and see how they perform. So here they are and I've put them from sort of uh, least aggressive pitch to most aggressive. This is the old Gemfan 5.3 that we've used for so long. Now they they bend, they flex, they break, but they're cheap as beans, no problems. Now this is the HQ 5x3 and this is a, a somewhat sturdier, stouter prop. It doesn't bend so easily and it's a bit tougher, handles the crashes a bit better too I think. This is the Carbon Fibre 5x3. This is a blackout branded one. You know they are available from a number of sources. You can get them on eBay and so forth. Also a 5.3, but it's carbon so in theory it should be more efficient and it should also be tougher. Well not tougher but stronger. There's two different toughness doesn't necessarily mean strength. Here we have a Gemfan 5.4. So this is a four inch pitch version of, of, of the red one over here. So that's the, these two are the same except this has got four inches of pitch. I didn't actually know these existed until I saw them on Banggood. So I bought some and they actually work pretty well. The, the extra inch of pitch is really noticeable. And this is the prop de jour as we say. This is the HQ Bullnose 5x4 prop. It's got a lot of area and it's very stiff so it really can get the most power out of your motor. Now it's probably not going to be as efficient as these other props because look at the tip profile. You've got a big wide tip. That's why it's called a bullnose I suppose. Um, the big wide tip there basically means that um, you're going to get a lot of drag off there because when a propeller operates you have a low pressure on the top surface and a high pressure on the bottom. It's like a wing. So where the low and the high meet you get a big vortex and that creates drag which basically makes it harder to turn the propeller. So we have a small tip, there's less drag, we have a wide tip, there's more drag. So this is not going to be very efficient but I can tell you now already this really does allow you to get your most power out of a, out of a frame like the, the uh, QAV250 where you're limited to 5 inch props. This will give you more performance I think than any of those but we'll stick them on the test stand and we'll see what the static thrust le levels are and what the power measurements are. And here is the test stand. It's the Hobby King thrust stand that I reviewed just a little while ago. Um, I've got a 12 amp ESC on here. I've velcroed the ESC to the frame so we're not going to get drag on the wires which I got last time of moving the battery around because the battery I'm going to use is a fully charged 1400 milliamp high capacity, what is high C, it's what is it 40C? 40C battery. So the battery itself shouldn't change during the testing. I'm only going to give brief tests so we can basically consider that to be a constant. So the only variability will be the actual props we've got mounted on the motor. They're all conventional rotation because I, I want to make sure they're all spun the same way. Uh, let's set it up and start measuring some figures. There we go. Three. <laughs> Well there are a few surprises there. It's fair enough to say that the Gemfan 5.3s, uh, they perform reasonably well. They even though there's other newer props on the market, they still perform reasonably well. But you can see those props with the 4 inch pitch just put out so much more thrust. The bull nose, over 400 grams. And did you see 106, was it one, um, 160 watts, 165 watts from memory? I have to look at the recordings later. Um, that's uh, pulling an enormous amount of power out of your motor. So you need to make sure your ESCs are up to, you know, up to the job and your motors are up to the job if you're going to use those bull nose props. Um, the carbon fibre, yeah, it was 
down a bit on thrust, wasn't it? And, but it's, it wasn't that efficient either because it seemed to draw quite a bit of current for the amount of thrust it was producing. So, hmm, carbon, is it worth the extra money? Got to ask yourself. I don't know how many of the, uh, the top gun flyers are using carbon. I think uh, from what I've seen, a lot of them are still using plastic props, but that's probably because they just go through so many of them like me. But I'm not a top gun flyer. So yeah, I would say um, the Gemfan 5.4 was a pleasant, pleasant surprise. That seems to put out quite a bit of power and they're really dirt cheap. So I'd say if you want the maximum enjoyment out of your mini quad and you're past the nano stage, then you're gonna have to go with a four inch pitch if you're stuck on a five inch prop. And uh, the Bullnose HQ will give you more power than the Gemfan. The Gemfan's probably a little cheaper and not as, but it's not as durable. I mean, those Bullnose props are quite thick and stiff. The GM fans are a bit wibbly wobbly like the 5.3s. Now, of course, what I'll do next, I'll do in the second part of this video, I'll do some flight testing because the, the flexibility of the prop and the aggressiveness of the pitch make, can make a huge difference to the way a mini quad flies, especially little things like just maintaining a level altitude. If you've got a prop that's too stiff, sometimes it can be very difficult to do that. A softer prop, basically, <clears throat> especially if you're in turbulence, will allow you to sort of ride through. It's like being sprung. So you do notice the difference. So the 5.3 GM fans, a lot of people, they go to the stiffer props, they find it quite hard initially to fly their mini quads as smoothly because every little throttle input is immediately reflected in a change of altitude. So there you go. That was a very quick video. Don't do many quick ones, but it just shows you the difference between those props. I'll put some more calculations in the description of this video. So please read it so you get all the information that you possibly can out of this video. If you've got questions, comments, all the usual stuff, bung them in the part below the description and I'll do my best to address and answer them. In the meantime, I've got so much to do and the weather's fine, so I'm gonna get back to the bench and then back to the field, do some more flying. Thanks for watching, see you soon.